Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to the All Hail the Cuckatron Overview. I was reached out by the developer kindly and received a key to this game, but in the interesting turn of events, I don't think they have done the research that my profession outside of YouTube is a cook. So that's kinda a funny coincidence that they wanted me to try out their cooking game when this is my actual job. <laughs> and because of that, I feel like I have a really good output what the game kinda needs more or like what needs to be improved from a perspective of just basic mechanics and just how cooking works or should work in virtual reality. Cookatron is a physics based action cooking simulator. It's very easy to compare it to like cooking mode in job simulator, cookout where you are making sandwiches basically or just any game in the same genre. What makes this different is that the developers put an emphasis on building a gameplay around physics and actually you know cutting the ingredients, creating dishes from recipes in game and just kind of a feel of a diner dash tycoon fast food employee in the food bar. Comparing to other cooking games that I've tried out so far. With this one I see big potential strictly because when you're introducing physics mechanics it automatically changes the feel of the gameplay to be more precise or real whatever you're going after and it opens up more opportunities to make the game more enjoyable to play. It is on App Lab and it should be there because when I was playtesting it it's not that it has a lot of bugs but there are a lot of missing things in just basic features like there's no turning for some reason you just have to turn in real life but like you can move normally with your joystick but not turn which I find kind of weird. You can cross the grill or the table where you're servicing your food because it has no collision system. It's basically you just penetrate it like nothing happens even though the game is focused on physics. You can plate your dishes whatever you want even though they don't even connect to the food you're serving. You can just throw whatever on the plate and it's gonna work at the end of the day even though you want to make a burger you're making a salad. <laughs> as long as the ingredients asked for the clientele is correct. I feel kind of bad for the developers because they didn't know that they are giving this game out to the actual cook that knows how things work, right? But then again, I'm not saying that the game is bad or whatever. Attention to detail and polishing things out would help tremendously it because that way you're creating a project that has a lot of potential in the future, maybe even coming to the official store, who knows? But it's just a matter of introducing features that feels just natural as a cooking simulator. Aside from me critically thinking, <laughs> the game feels fun because it's essentially working in a fast food chain just serving things to people like you would just be back at college just having a part-time job stressing out and just doing whatever on the grill so like the ambience and the atmosphere is preserved well here it is basically meant to have fun and that's it so i'm looking forward to more enhancements and additional stuff that i look forward to as a cook and who knows if i say there is a potential then i believe in the project so we'll have to see how it goes chop chop what do we have here Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome to All Hail the Cookatron! You may call me the presenter, and I will be your host for this session. Oh. Did you know that you can sit or stand while playing? Pull the handle to the height of your hips for maximum comfort. Hips. Here. Unusual setting, but definitely cool. Can you reach me? Yeah? Casual heroic. Fun fact, by profession I'm a cook. I work in a bakery currently, so I should choose heroic, but let's go with casual, I just kinda want to... Well, this is awkward. Hmm, don't speak. <laughs> I just want to see like the mechanics and just how the game altogether performs because those, you know, jobs of the simulator-ish, like cookout kind of cooking games are just a little bit too simple, I think, for my uh, taste. Are we waiting for something? Did <laughs> Like cookout has some medium level of kinda difficulty, but it's still seen as an arcade, not like an actual representation of cooking. So maybe this game will have it, who knows, we'll see. Ah, the easy mode. How dare you? We can walk, pause, grab, walk. Oh, wait, <laughs> we can move out from the menu. Can I like turn? I mean, it doesn't work. Push down to recenter. Huh, interestingly, we don't have turning on the right hand. It's just like we can like recenter and then kind of go into the direction that we kind of want to go, but not really. A little bit weird. The first game that I've tried in VR that does not have any turning at all <laughs> as a campaign. Oh. Something? For you, okay? Stars, so this is this Angry Birds unlocking levels by progression system. Let's go. What's happening? Wait. Good. Let's begin, shall we? Whoa, wait. This is the 360 photo. It's not like you're in actual space. It's like a layer in the distance, but like it's not the actual environment. I wonder why. If it's just to save processing power? Oh, whoa. Oh. 
Hello? Alright, let's begin. Begin what? There's no tutorial? Oh, here we go. Okay. So this is a grill. Is that smoke? How do we know if it's done? Like, ah, oh, okay. Yeah, it changes colors. Great. Give me a plate. Oh, <laughs> okay. Why is it... Wait, if you grab by left hand and then you want to plate it, it's upside down. <laughs> you have to tilt your hand to plate it for some reason. Because for the right hand, it's fine. Wonder. Okay. Ban. Burger. Ban. We have it here. Ban. Oh. Um. Leave it there. <laughs> Don't worry. It's still edible. Uh, here we go. Nice. Okay, it has full physics, like it's not too simplistic for now, although we were in the first level, so let's see. A spatula would be fun. If we're keeping with physics based things and just like more realism, I wouldn't grab a burger with my hand. <laughs> oh, my dude, those goggles though. A cheeseburger. Oh, <laughs> I wonder if I can save him like that upside down. Cheeseburger. It's a little bit tilted. You don't mind? Okay. Awesome work. Lavala. <laughs> Those deformed faces. Hamburger with lettuce. So we served with an upside down plate. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Attention to detail is kind of low. I wonder if I can serve him without a plate. Like I'm turning every possibility there is. Oh shit, wait. No, okay. It doesn't set itself in place. So it has to be a plate. Okay. Do you want from the ground? Okay, I'll, I'll spare you. Wait, can I throw the plate at him? Oh, okay, yeah. Wonder if that will count. Cheeseburger! Something's burning. Not burning, but at least there's an indicator of this dude that something is prepared. So let's throw this plate to him. <laughs> well, that was anticlimactic. Here we go. Power of pizza burger. We miss you. Done for now. All, it's pretty easy because there's just three ratings, but there's no like difficulty indicator if we're talking about the accuracy, how the burger is plated. It can just be a fuck all of everything up until it's gonna be on the plate, ingredient by ingredient, it's gonna be fine. So, mm, kinda like, eh. Same environment, but different people. <laughs> I love the sequence that you're building your like station from this. Oh, mushrooms, tomato added. I wonder if the slices have to be accurate as well. Because I see three, but I'm assuming there are four. The picture does not show. Okay, so do that. Burger is gonna be first. Let's put it on the side. Tomato. Where's my cutting board? Do I cut with my hand like that? <laughs> okay. Oh, we have to hold it while cutting. Okay. What the hell? Ah, oh, we have to do cutting motions. We can't like... Oh no, we can. What? It's not accurate as well. We can cut like that, but it's gonna cut in circles in the other direction. So, hmm. you want... I'm assuming three slices because... Oh, it shows here. Okay. <laughs> here we go. Your mushrooms are almost falling off. Wait, I can cross the bar like that? Why? There's physics but no collision? Usual hamburger. I guess he wants free as well. <laughs> there is no mushroom there. I mean, it's on the plate, so okay, but just take it. I don't want it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go for the arcade because the campaign is like very slow paced and I wanna like kind of more challenge. But so far seeing with the mechanics and stuff like that, even though it's physics based, the accuracy of it is not there. Which is kind of weird. It's not like half assing the thing, but it's just the basic stage of physics kind of mechanics. This is gonna be like kind of a marathon, so I'm assuming there's gonna be lots of things that I don't even know about. Oh yeah, <laughs> things are already cooking? Okay, calm down. What is this? You want just basic salad with tomato? I guess slices. <laughs> Go run! <laughs> yeah. Four burgers! Jesus, dude. Where's the spatula when I need it? <laughs> and that's gonna be that. You want salad as well? Vegans? Okay, well... <laughs> yeah, I can just throw it. What is this? A shake? Oh, oh my god. Uh, I think it's blue. Uh, S. Oh, okay. What about this? Oh shit. I don't know what to do. Panic. Uh, just press it. Okay. Here we are. <laughs> salad with mushrooms? It is a little bit ridiculous. You're burning it. No, no. 
on the side. It's because I don't have a board to cut. I don't think that's the intended purpose of this device. <laughs> Shut up. What is this burger, man? I should have like a prep station, you know, things that I can do like in advance. Cut, 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 cut. And then fastly put it on the dish. That just makes sense for me because I'm a cook. Basic logic. Back to the menu then. I kind of see what's going on. I think I'm harsher on this game simply because I'm a cook by profession. So I look at things way differently that people want a piece of cuisine. Like I see the details in terms of the possibilities kind of or like additional things that can be improved. There should be like cutting board. There should be like other prep station table to manage your dishes at least in the stage that i've tried because i've seen in the trailer and just stuff like that there are other environments to work in but i'm like judging on this because that's what i have unlocked i want to turning i really want to turn because i don't want to turn in real life i want to have an option to do it because we're already working so it just feels natural i'm looking at this game from an app lab perspective and there's a reason why it's on app lab because to me it's unfinished but it has potential to be good it just needs to have features that just make sense. It could be fun, but it has to offer way more than it presents currently, so we'll see, who knows? This might be the best app lab game in the future. The potential is always there.